All right, I am going to introduce you how to organize the buttons within your item adder. Um, you're going to append your URL with backslash item adder design, as you can see here in the bar at the top. Uh, actually, you may not be able to see that now that I'm looking at it. Um, anyways, you go to your account dot relationhq.com slash item adder design. Once you're there, you should see a page similar to this. You're going to check this drop down list to make sure it says edit item adder one. If it says edit item adder two or three or four as available options, you need to get with us to find out which one you need to edit. That just means you have multiple ones, but only one is active at any time. So if you go into edit item adder one and click edit create, you see this page here. You're going to go into the item zone, which gives you a list of buttons that show up on your item adder. Um, something to note is you'll see it, there is a hidden slash visible column over here. Um, so notice that as you go in to the sort items. So let's say you wanted to sort your doors. You go into view edit children. You have two doors and you realize, wait a second, I want the exterior door to be listed second. You can click, drag, drop, and save the sort. Now you can see that it is interior first, exterior second. And we'll say that you wanted to also update your furniture category. As you load that up, you decide, okay, I want to have the entertainment center very first, oops, very first, and you want to have bedroom furniture very last. Save the sort. And once that is saved, you'll see that the order has changed. Now, anytime you make changes here, you want to make sure that you push this rebuild item adder, make changes live button. Otherwise, it will not see the changes. It allows you to go in and make changes without interrupting somebody that's currently working. Now, let's just say someone comes back and says, wait a second, no, I don't want the bedroom furniture to be last. That's wacky. So you can go to sort buttons and you can just reset it to default or you can sort alphabetically. When you sort alphabetically, it will save it to an alphabetical order. Go ahead and hit re rebuild item matter, make changes live, and you can then go into your item matter and make sure everything looks the way that you like.